your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by the DiDonato Family Fun Center in Hamilton with 26 professional grade all hardwood bowling lanes and our upscale bar and grill, Alley, with only the highest quality ingredients made from scratch. And good Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope you enjoyed watching the Preakness out there. Second leg of the crown jewel here. And of course, well, the Belmont Stakes coming up in the second Saturday of June. Temperatures across the area just not really giving us much relief inland. Still seeing some 90s out there even at this hour. Uh, 92 in Media, 93 in Marlton. A little bit chillier as you head up towards the state capital, 79 under some uh, foggy conditions. Head down the 195 corridor to Asbury Park. It's 80 degrees. 71 in Toms River, 83 in Tucker and Paris Sixes in Atlantic City. So again, the shoreline you were kind of socked in with some more of a south to southwesterly flow that came off the ocean itself. So dealt with some low clouds and fog for most of the day with a few peaks of sunshine. But obviously inland, you could see with these temperatures, really got a scorcher with that sunshine across the air. Plus that humidity made it feel even worse. 96 a high at the airport in Hamilton today. It felt like 105 at times out there. And we should be normally be around 73 degrees. So obviously we did tie a record back in 96. It was 96 degrees also. So we did tie a record today for that high temperature of 96 degrees at the airport. Futurecast. Right now we are at sea clear skies here. Some low clouds and some fog starting to develop as we head into the coastline. And I think we'll all get that fog as we head into the overnight hours once again tonight, like we had early this morning. So that will be the case as you wake up tomorrow morning. Then a cold front is going to start to approach for us as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. And I have a chance of sparking some showers and some storms. The actual front here, by the time we hit quarter to four tomorrow, is actually still back in northwestern parts of Pennsylvania towards Erie. But as you can see, it's going to send through possibly a couple of lines of showers and storms for us as we head throughout the afternoon. I think the, the most action will start around, I would say, in southeastern Pennsylvania around 3 or 4 o'clock, then push its way eastward for that first line. And then that second line is going to push on through, I think, as we head towards the morning hours Monday. And then as the front pushes on through here, an upper level low pressure is going to develop just to our southeast. And I think it gives a shot of seeing maybe some showers possibly as we head into Monday morning, more into Monday afternoon before this thing finally jets on out of here, pushes on out, and therefore we set ourselves up for a nice looking day uh, temperature wise as least we head into Tuesday on into Wednesday itself. So tonight, not great, 73 degrees, muggy and humid, once again, patchy fog developing as we head towards the daybreak hours, especially as you head towards the shoreline areas itself. Now for tomorrow, like I said, sunny to start. Once we burn off that fog, clouds will begin to develop as we head towards the afternoon. Temperatures once again, Pushing 90 degrees inland, feeling near 100 with that humidity, but cloud cover will develop as we head towards the afternoon hours and give us a chance of maybe seeing some showers and some storms by the time we hit the afternoon and the evening hours. Upper air pattern, you can see clearly we've been on the warmer side. Now, the good news is as we head through the rest of today on into tomorrow, yes, we'll deal with the heat, but you can see there's some relief coming here as we head towards, mainly towards the middle of the week, so it won't be as oppressive the air mass in terms of that heat and that humidity out there. That's some great news. But overall, we're seeing some decent uh, conditions as we head towards, especially I know everybody's looking at the Memorial Day weekend. I think we'll be in good shape for most of it in terms of temperatures and whatnot. May have to dodge a couple of showers or storms, especially towards the end of the weekend itself. But overall, not looking too bad. This week, definitely better than what we dealt with for today and tomorrow. And you can clearly see we're still going to be dealing with the dew point up near 70 degrees. So obviously it's going to kick off no matter how, even though we'll be a few degrees cooler. Yeah, upper 80s, low 90s. Yeah, what kind of relief is that, especially with a dew point like this? We're still going to feel like over 100. But look at this. Wow. Definitely feel very nice as we head into Monday, especially into Tuesday, on into Wednesday after dealing with, as I mentioned, 90s and feeling like 100 across most of the inland areas this weekend. Tuesday, as I mentioned, 68. That's going to feel so nice by the time we hit Tuesday. Wednesday, again, mostly cloudy, 70 degrees. We're going to have a bit of an onshore flow. Not what we dealt with that disaster last week with the 10 days in a row of that upper level low of the Carolinas. No, not looking at that kind of issue. But it will be a, a slight easterly flow out there. So we'll keep, I think, temperatures down a little bit. Well, I think we'll take it at this point after this weekend. Warm front pushes through on Thursday on into Friday. I think that's why we'll see a chance of showers and storms possibly popping up as we head towards the weekend itself. And therefore, you're Exclusive Norcast plus three days. Sunday, not looking too bad. 73 degrees and probably the best day out of them all. But Monday, a cold front will begin to push into the area. That's why I think later in the day we'll see a chance of maybe seeing some showers and some storms and nicer as you head into Tuesday. Have a great rest of the evening, everybody. I'll see you tonight.